Welcome to Journey Ministry, Life Journey Ministry. I'm your host today, and I'm still on the subject, there's no such thing as a Christian witch. You're either a witch or you're a Christian. You can't be in between. You can't be a witch and you can't be a Christian. You got to be a Christian or a witch. So I'm, I'm, I'm on probably at least, about, at least about four or five series of uh, there's no such thing as a Christian witch. No such thing, either a witch or you're a Christian. So I'm on this on, on, on Galatians chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. And it says, O foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before who eyes Jesus Christ have been crucified? Amen. Amen. Crucified uh, 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 among you. This only. I learn of you, receive ye the Spirit by the work of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, and ye are not made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be set, it be yet in vain? Amen. Verse 5. He therefore that ministered to the Spirit, and work a miracle among you, does he yet by the working of the law, or by the hearing of faith? So we see that in the first part, when Paul was telling the Galatian church, "Who have bewitched you?" And that's my subject. Amen. Who have bewitched you? Yes. Who have cast a spell on you? Who have uh, 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 charmed? you who have gained control of you who have enhanced you who have beguiled you who has delighted in you we see that how in the book of genesis how the bible tell tell that the serpent beguiled eve the serpent has deceived eve by telling her if you eat this fruit whether it be apple, orange, or grape, I know that she ate a fruit. The Bible doesn't specifically say that it was an apple or orange, but the Bible says it was a fruit, and there are thousands of fruit. So I'm saying that who have beguiled you of obeying the truth? Now the truth shall make you free, my friend. Amen. Glory to God. The truth will will set, but is make the the King James Version Bible say the truth shall make you free other versions say set you free but i like i like glory to god the king james verse because the king james verse say make when you make something it is make but when you set some something it can come apart so we see that how paul say oh foolish galatian now you are foolish if you're not continually in the truth and it's amazing that how in a society that how people go to church and once you believe, start going to church and start reading the word of God, and some people make a mistake of not reading the word of God. Amen. They 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 ikamasanda, they shout, they dance, they wear a big pretty hat, they wear a nice money suit, the dresses. But the Bible says that we must continue in the truth. But it's called the truth will make you free. So how Paul say that, O oh, foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you? Who have bamboozled you, who have controlled you, who have charmed you, who have put a spell on you. And we gotta be careful how those people that have been in church for a long time, amen, amen, and how you think that by them being in church for a long time, they are very they are very in, uh, enhanced in education, very enhanced in knowing the spirit, but don't be fooled by the ancient folks. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Because some people have been in church for a long time. They've been in church for a long time, but they haven't grown in the spirit. They've been in church for a long time, but they're doctrinated by man commandments. Say, hey, glory to God. So Paul said, Oh foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you? And there are many witches in the church. Don't be fooled, my friend. Anytime you are being controlled by a person, you are bewitched. Anytime somebody tell you, do this and do that, and if it's not according to the word of God, don't do it. Because there are many people that has been bamboozled in the house of God. Yes, bamboozled in the house of God. There are many clickers 
in the house of God. That's why we gotta be we gotta be close to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one we ought to be drawn nigh to. Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ. So Paul was saying that if I don't follow Christ, please don't follow me. Hey, glory to God. So Paul was telling the church of Galatian, you are foolish. You begun in the in the spirit, but now you're working in the flesh. And I'm a dissect that. It's a lot of time people get in the church and never read the Bible. Hey, glory to God. They get in the church, don't have a prayer life. Hey, glory to God. They get in the church and they're looking at everybody rather than looking unto the purpose, unto the person that brought them to church. Hey, not not the person physically, but the person which is Jesus Christ. We gotta have a have a relationship with Jesus Christ. To be a Christian, you have to have a personal relationship with not people but the person of Jesus Christ because the Bible say looking unto Jesus the author and the finish your faith for the joy that was set before him endure the cross despise the shame and is sitting right at the right hand of God who are you looking into are you looking to man the Bible say I have no confidence in the flesh. Hey, glory to God. Because the flesh warred against the spirit, and these are contrary one to another. So I'm saying that we are going to be, be close to the word of God because the word of God is spirit and they are life. Hey, glory to God. If you are looking to man, you're going to fall. Hey, glory to God. If you're looking to woman, you're going to be destroyed. But looking unto Jesus, Jesus is the only one that the purpose of you being saved. It's not because somebody invites you and you looking unto them. No, my friend. You ought to look unto, unto Jesus. Jesus Christ is a spirit. You can't see Jesus. Jesus is a spirit. You can't see the physical attribute of God. You got to see the spiritual attribute. The spiritual man got to be fed with the word of God. You got to fast. Glory to God. You got to stay in the fellowship. Because where is there no fellowship, there can be no relationship. The relationship is to be with Jesus Christ. So I'm telling those that are watching me right now, you are foolish. Hey, glory to God. If you let somebody control you, if somebody casts a spell on you, you tell them, them they're telling you to get up, you get up. They're telling you to go, you go. They're telling them to eat, you eat. No, my friend, we ought to be controlled by the Spirit of God because the Spirit of God will lead you and guide you into all truth. Follow flesh, you're going to be destroyed. Hey, glory to God. And that's a problem we have in Christendom. There's too many fellowship with the flesh because they know good thing that dwell in the flesh. So I'm saying that there are many witches in the church. Yes, there are witches in the church and the witches they don't come in black hats, hey glory. They don't wear black all the time. They are just like me and you. They come all they come as ordinary people. They don't have a black cat. Hey, glory to God. They don't wear symbols of Pentagon and all the things on their neck. They come as a person that portray as being a Christian. That's why I say there no such thing as a Christian witch. You either a witch or your Christian. You can't be in between because if you are in between, the Bible say God gonna spit you out of his mouth. Yes, my friend, he gonna spit you. He gonna vomit you. He gonna say you are not a part of this thing. You can't be lukewarm and go to heaven. You gotta be hot going to heaven. You can't even be cold go to heaven. So, oh foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you from a being the truth. And another thing I must say before I close, what is truth? The Bible says, everyone that hears the word of God heareth the truth. And if you're not reading the Bible daily, you're not part of the truth because the truth will make you free. Hey, glory to God. That's why Paul, that's why the Bible say, meditate in it day and night. Meditate is not yoga because yoga is is Hinduism. Yoga, hey, glory to God, tell you to clear your mind. But the Bible say, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. So I'm telling you, my friend, who have 
put a spell on you? Who have, who have charmed you? Who have bamboozled you? Who have beguiled you? Who have delight in you? So I'm telling you, my friend, don't be foolish, hey, glory to God, but be wise as serpent and be harmless as dove. Go back to lunch in the name of Jesus Christ.